Hi everyone! I know you've not seen me for some time. I've been extremely busy and I'm back again. <laughs> no, hi everyone. Right, I'm going to um, just... I've got some bits to do so I might as well bring you along while I'm doing it to get me back into the swing of it. I want to show you this picture. My granddaughter, this is Bobby Joe and me, uh, without my glasses, and my granddaughter, I don't know if you remember seeing the video, um, her mummy filmed me and her doing our face masks. Uh, and the choice of uh, face mask was down to my granddaughter, Bobby Jo, and she chose to use Nutella. <laughs> and as you can see, there is a film uh, of it on my Facebook page, but there is on YouTube as well. Um, so go along and have a, uh, a look at it, because she was brilliant. I mean, she's five now, but she was only three there, I think. She was about three. And she absolutely loved it. And the other day she said, Nana, do you remember when we did our faces with chocolate? And I went, I do love, yes, I do. So I says, uh, uh, would you like a picture of that, of me and you? She went, yes, please. So she wanted a picture to frame it. So this is my copy, because I have to have one, which I will put downstairs. And she's now got a copy. We're just going to try and find her a nice frame. But isn't she beautiful? Who wouldn't do that for a child? I would. <laughs> Now, what's come in are the reels. These are our, this super soft fabric. In the, this is the 12 inch wide in pink, in uh, like a cream, um, a buttercream, and the chocolate one. I'm just waiting for the others to come. They are nice and soft, and they're really good for. Uh, well, you don't have them big pieces to mess about with. 12 inch wide, and you can have it as. Uh, I sell it by the yard. So if you're interested in those, they will be on the shop again. I've got a couple left. I think they're still on the shop now, but I'm going to put these new ones on because we need to. Um, I've also got some of these. Now, I've only bought these few to see if you're interested. Look, the wire off my phone. Because that's to remind me to charge my phone up. I love them. Absolutely love them, the giant pins. Like a nappy pin, like my kids used to have when they had towelling nappies, which people won't remember. A lot of people won't remember. Oh, delivery man. I'm waiting for loads to come in, you know, but trying to get it in is impossible. So, um, I'm going to put these online. And I think today I might just use one. I might I might just try and do something with one. Because I, I would love that on a baby book something like that so I will put those online and we can sort that out I've got some flowers here some fabrics and some laces and that uh, and I've got some nice soft uh, trim I'm just wondering I've got some beading out as well now and what I've got some other beading so I'm just gonna have a look at that and I got my book out again the artful ribbon by Candice Kling which I'm going to be sharing with you. I've done loads from the book. I'm going to be doing some more sharing with you how to do the flowers. Now, let me just see. Uh, da, 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 da. So I've got lots of bits and pieces. I might want to use some of that. I've got that one, or I could use... That, in fact, this is the one I'm going to use. I don't want one too fancy. And I, I will be getting this in, but I've told you before, it is expensive. And so the price will have to relate to that. Now, let me just see. How much will I need? Not much. It opens that way, so it's got to go on the right. We'll pin it like that, so it's going to go on here. What do you think? Let me just see. I'm going to need at least that, and I'm going to... No, I'm not going to double it, am I? Just let me play and you can watch, because that's what I do, don't I?
I'm back. <laughs> the glue. Okay, so I'm going to have to pop a little bit of glue in here first because once I cut the stem, it's going to separate them all unless I do this first. So I'm just going to do that and then do that in my fingers. See, that's sealed all that together and now I can cut that stem a little bit shorter and it won't come undone. But I can use the base of that to pop just here. See, like that. I'm going to take that one off. The best thing about crafting is you can um, dismantle it as you're going along. And the only reason I want to do that is because it's... Um, too big i know it looks as big as wide but it's not as you know sticking out as much so again i need to do that with this one leave that the heat And then we can trim that right off. I'm going to push that in there. Yeah. And I do like the colour of the pin. I like that with that. It's more like a wedding piece isn't it so it could go on a christening book or something like that now you know what I'm going to do let me move my bits and pieces because I've got stuff everywhere I need to clean up I've got some of these beautiful beautiful beads very pale pink and I'm thinking and I've got these little roses as well these are made from clay oh, porcelain and I just want to pop them on the end like that oh yes that's pretty See, like that. And we filled that. So when you look down onto it, we filled that in. I'm not finished. I want something along here. We've got some Nottingham lace, uh, pink and cream, and it's gorgeous. It's super soft. It's been there for God knows how long. We sell loads, metres and metres of it. Now, like I said, it can be used as a wedding pin or it can be used as a christening pin. Let me just move all this. What I'm going to do, take the loose stuff off. And you see this here, I'm going to fill that as well. And just pop one of these little flowers in. We'll do it from that angle if we have to. Yeah, like that. That's fine. Now, I'm going to take all the beading back flip that back like that and then I'm going to take a little bit of this I think made like a little pin we could put that in a little bit more like well I'm going to I do want to glue that in a little bit more 
Whoa, I'm going to drink it next. Just a little tiny bit there. I'll just pin that in like that. That's fine. I'm happy. Oh, yes, much better. I'm happy with that. And we can still open it because you use it under there and you put your pin out, put it onto your project. And then, oops, sorry. You, oops. Just close it up again like that. And there's something, I know, you see, I'm like this. There's just something missing from it. So let me move my granddaughter's picture. Well, there's not in there. Oh, here's one. Not big enough. Let me find what I'm looking for. Oh, that looks bloody gorgeous. Not sure if it's the right size, though. Although that looks... Oh, that'll fit. Do you remember when I put them together, two beads together to make one? Yeah, that'll do. And it's... Uh, on a little bit of a ribbon. All I'm going to do with that is attach some glue. Prop that up. Push that in there. That was it. It just needed something in the middle to hang. And that was it. They look gorgeous. Quite happy with that. I, well, no, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. But you know, I just find little places to add a new bead. That's it. It's got to. When I'm doing an elegant thing, it has to look elegant. You can have it looking pretty and you can have it looking nice, but I want it to stand out. Uh, and so I do continue until I've got it just right. Uh, and that looks more elegant. So I'm just going to put another one in here. And I'm also going to do the same here. Oh, don't tell me the back with all them blooming posters and things. Oh, Mr. Mail, ma'am. Thought we'd have the mail today. There you go. That's it. And that sits in the middle. Yeah, I like that. You can just see it under the petals. And that now will go on a project. Hope you can see that. Layering, adding bits and pieces, whatever it is that takes your fancy. And uh, don't be afraid to use things. I'm going to put them in there now because I don't want to use them. They can go in, in there. That can go up there. I'm even going to put that in. See, that. Right, let's take that and we're going to pop that on top there. That's it. And it's got a shade of pink on the end. That's it, done. Now, you know me, I'm, I don't go over the top, but when I uh, want it to look really elegant, then that is what I'll do. And I like that. I think that looks really pretty. Let me just bring that one forward a little bit. Let me just bring this forward a bit. Just do that and bring it forward. That's it. Now it'll hang right. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, large pin. You can make them how you want them. But that will definitely hang really nice on a project. And uh, please do go over to the shop find you that material it's satin material that's what it'll be listed as and uh, go grab a few yards you'll enjoy working with it in fact you want me to do it don't you i knew you would <laughs> okay okay uh, let's make a flower with the brown one i think with the easy 
easy to make a flower with. I'm going to use, oh, we'll use that much. I need to get the right scissors because I have got the wrong ones at the moment. So I'm going to go get them. But I knew you'd want me to use it. Let me just go get the right scissors. Don't have to be a straight line. I'm going to cut three. But it, it's really good fabric to use. So do your tacking stitch and then a running stitch it's one of the easiest flowers you can do gather that up together and then sew that off that's all you do never mind this you can tidy all that up after Okay, take your flame, throw it. Now, like I've said before, we will be getting these back in. And then you just do that. Leave that as is. I'm going to do that again. Right, let me just see if I've got enough. Just to share with you about the flower itself. So I'm going to take hold of, um, let's see if we've got a piece of fabric. I want a piece that I can make a decent sized circle with. Like that one, could get a decent sized circle out of that. Okay, now take your flower. Pop that just like that. See what I mean about the layering? I could go round and round, but I don't want to. I want to cross them, layer them. Make sure you put them on the right way, all of them. So I'm now going to overlap them like that. Oops. Bring that in. I'm going to pull it out, overlap that again like that these really are the gorgeous flowers now i could just keep it as these or layer it again i think i'll do a, a couple more like that oh but that looks nice doesn't it i might just keep it as it is actually hang on i'm gonna do this 
there we go I'm just gonna do probably we sell this in the shop as well so let me just level that off so I'm gonna do two four six eight ten I'm gonna do ten twelve scallops just going to trim that off, don't want the middle in like that. Put that on there like that and then stitch up stitch that then we can put this on like that beautiful beautiful chocolate flower but what I want to do is to sort out these petals now I'm going to take this and just singe them till they're all see how it curls them And you can keep going until you're satisfied with what you've got. And then you end up with a gorgeous flower. But laid. So you've got different sized petals here, there and everywhere. And these... You know, there's lots of things you can do with them. You can pull them. Uh, but I just like them like that. And I hope that's uh, helped. They do look nice. Somewhere I've got a feather. I just, it makes me want to put a feather in it. So, what I'm going to have to do now is find the blooming feather. There we are. They do sometimes. That's what uh, happens. I end up doing things and putting feathers in oh I've got these gorgeous ones here look look at those that rich colour or oh, one of those I suppose I could put in they don't get used that often that one there you go that'll go with those this could end up with a tassel and all sorts look at those beautiful stunning feathers and we'll be getting them all in again shortly. There we go. Now it doesn't matter that I've put the back on at all. Sit it where you want it. Uh, and I'm going to press that on there. So that's where I've put it. I'm going to add that one as well. That one further up. And here's a small one. Bring that out there. I'm just going to add in there you've got one going the opposite way as well I think we'll leave that like that and that's it beautiful I'll get rid of all of them in a minute move my needle before I lose it because I know what I'm like Tassels. Now, have we got a, Oh my, look at this. Straight out the pot. Straight out the pot. Right, okay. And I'm going to put it in there. Oh yes. See? Meant for it, wasn't it? Just meant for it. Now... <laughs> Uh, 
Now I'm going to need a stick pin. So I've got some beads here that I was starting on. Uh, let me just see. Oh, look, brown bead, like a crystal bead. Uh, we can have a must have a cream bead, that will do. We got a crystal of some sort. As I always put a touch of pink, dark rose. There's a dark rose there. I'm going to swap that so we can see that one. That's it. I don't even want that one in, I don't think. Oh, look. No. Oh, here we are. Got one. There. Nice colour. Don't need bead caps. I could use them. I don't want to. There you go. That's got it. Perfect. I didn't expect to do any of this. <laughs> but I knew you'd want me to. So there you go. I'm going to pop that there. Get rid of all the string. And then that needs to go in here, I think. In there. Nope, not there. We need it here where we can see it. Push that in. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I may put it onto something light so you can actually see it. Oh, well, look, I'll just do it on that for now as a background. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. I'll be back with more. Bye bye for now.